Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to our very last assembly in New York Primary for this session and it's a very special assembly because it's our Primary 7's Leavers Assembly. So what a year we've had this year, we'll never forget it. But out of challenge comes opportunity and we've all had the opportunity to upskill ourselves in our ICT and that includes the teachers who have put together all of the clips today for our Primary 7's Assembly. I am going to hand you over to Primary 7, Evie McBurney, to open our assembly this morning. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Primary 7 Leaders Assembly. We will first create an assembly that is like a big new year. Please step back, relax, and move in. We will now hear a poem written and recited by Primary 7 Steps. A, B, C, D, E, F, K, by the right, from Primary 7 Steps. A is for the alphabet we learned in P1. B is for bug club reading throughout the years. C is for the corridors we walk through every day. D is for dancing to our favourite songs during the play. E is for the elevator that always broke down. F is for our favourite teachers, P.S. Miss Lily. G is for our home, the atmosphere. H is for saying hello to your teacher every morning. I is for the information we learned in class. H is for the tools we play with our teachers. K is for the kindness all our teachers show to us. L is for the leavers class of 2021. M is for the memories we are leaving behind. N is for the nurture that the teachers gave to us. O is for all those new school teachers. P is for P1 and the memories we will never forget. Q is for our birthday questions that we asked. R is for the red leaders who did their art for them. S is for the self published that are in your books. T is for the chips we enjoyed. U is for the unforgettable memories. V is for the deep cut log. W is for the writing tasks we were given. X is for the excellent time we had. Y is for the younger ones that look up to us. Z is for the zigzag line we stood in in P1. We'll now turn up to the CD to show you a special program for New York. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to New Art TV. Tonight we have a very special episode of Gogglebox for you where our families will be sharing their reactions and opinions on some very interesting shows. Good evening. Let's introduce you to our families who have an interesting evening of viewing ahead of them. Here we have the Adams family, Mum, Anita, an award-winning trapeze artist, Dad, Ross, a circus strongman, and their daughter Lana, who is training to be an accountant. The Smith family, who are Jake, a retired doctor, and Emily, a retired brain surgeon. And finally, we have Millie Harper, Lennox, and Lucy Kingston Barrett, two socialites who spend their days having spa treatments and doing lunch. The first show on the TV guide tonight is Newark Mastermind. Our families will watch three geniuses from Newark Primary being put to the test on their knowledge of their P7 topics. <laughs> In the spotlight tonight, Aaliyah McLean of spe Special Subject is Africa. Alan Brown, who will be answering questions about natural disasters. And Maya Ellis, who is an expert in the area of World War II. The rooms are simple. Each contestant will be given two minutes to answer questions on their special subject. And then there will be a general knowledge round. Let's go on with it and see who win that famous glass bowl. First contender, please. Your name is Maya Ellis. And your special subject. 
projectors. Ah yeah, it's a terrible time, but they are, well, they are like triumphing in the end. Okay, let's get started. Question one, who was leader of Germany during World War II? Adolf Hitler. Correct. Two, who was the Prime Minister of Britain during World War II? Let's do touch on. Which of these battles really took place in World War II? Arnhem. The, U the USA and Germany were on the same side during World War II. False. True or false? Who was the leader of the USSR during World War II? Um, Joseph Stalin. Germany was on the winning side during World War during the Second World War. True or false? False. Where was an excavation at Dunkirk during World War II? Where is Dunkirk? France. In which year is is it generally accepted that Hitler died? In 1945. What is the do? To to finish with, I am going to go back to the start. In which year did World War Two start in Europe? 1939. Can I have Can I have my next contender, please? Your name is Alan. And you're not keeping any special subjectives? Uh, I'm a mathematician and a uh, natural disaster. I hope you blow us away with your answers. Which natural disaster is measured on the Richter scale? Earthquake. What, what, what is a long period of dry weather known as? A drought. What, what does a hurricane get, get its strength from? Warm water. After an earthquake happens, should you get out of your safe place right away? Yes or no? Yes. What is a tsunami? A uh, big wave. What dangerous natural disaster happens mostly in the summer and is caused by high wind and very hot temperatures? A uh, bushfire. There is another natural disaster. Which of these is the, be is the best description of it? A huge wave, a strong wind, no water. No water. When it floods, when it rains for a long time, what could happen? What is what is it called when it's windy and snows lots and lots of snow? A buzzard. Well, volcanoes have what inside of them? Magma. That was a worthy score. You had no passes and managed to score 9 out of 10. Can we have our final contestant, please? Can you tell me your name and your occupant, please? My name is Leah and I'm a gamer. What is your specialist subject? My specialist subject is Africa. Okay, let's get started. I hope your knowledge blows me away. Which is the largest country in Africa? Algeria. Which is the most populous country in Africa? Nigeria. Which is the smallest country in Africa? Uh, how many countries are in Africa? 54. What is the name of Africa's largest city? Lagos. How many countries does the Nile River flow through? 11. Which country has no coast, coastline along the Atlantic Ocean? Senegal. Which African country borders with the Atlantic, o Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean? Johannesburg. Which of which of one of these cities in the, is not a capital? Johannesburg, Osaka, Algiers, Haran. Osaka. What country is a landlocked country? Ghana, Lesotho, Namibia, and Tanzania. Tanzania. That was good, and a mini had one pass and you got six correct answers. All contestants did very well on their specialist subject round. Let's let's see how they cope on with our general knowledge round. That was intense. Yeah, yeah it was. was. I can't believe I'd have to go that question about thingy wrong. I'd like to see you do better. What? I'd like to see you do better. What? I'd like to see you do better. I was dead brainy, me. Ask me anything. How many points did I have? Does a uh, chef that hard? Actually, on this one, a hundred. Can you stop, darling? Yes, rather. 
the second programme up for the judgment of our families of New Art Scott Talent. Hello, welcome to tonight's episode of New Art Scott Talent. Let's introduce our judges. Please welcome to the stage the Pierce McBear and Mr. Joshua. <laughs>
Zach was playing on that trumpet. What? He was good on that trumpet. What? Never mind. I'd love a theme trumpet. Would you like another top up? Absolutely. I can't wait to see what our families think of, of your of our next show. It's I'm a P7. Get me out of here. I hope they aren't doing anything disgusting. Oh, excellent. I love this show. The grosser the better. Oh no, they aren't eating any animal parts. Circle ready. <laughs> that was a quick journey. Welcome to the jungle in this week's episode of I'm a P7 Get Me Out of Here. Last week we saw Gary Glancy having to eat a slug, but he managed to take one for the team and got his class a fantastic treat. Let's get to camp and tell the camp the contestants who's been selected for this week's most circuit. I hope they take that Cowboy and Lou again. They were hilarious last week when they, when they made them on screen. They used statues. I preferred it when they made shoes strip the chewing gum off the bottom of the table. Well, at least they didn't eat crayons while they was under there. That's what he did in Primary 2. The public have voted, and the contestants for today's trials are. Leah, Josh Williams, and Anella. <laughs> <laughs> this week's first of the trial. Contestants were beating. Sour words. Without pulling a funny face. She's a word. I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Last but not least. Thank you. And on the count of three, we will all eat it at once and see who can finish first without pulling a sour face. Are three. you ready? Three. Two. One. Go, go. Congratulations, Leah! You have won a pass to high school! <laughs> this is our second trial. Nominated for this trial are Amy, Rebecca, and Robbie. In this trial, you will have to find the two stars hidden in all this alligator food. The first person to find the two stars has to hold them up to prove that they have won. Roll up your sleeves, because it's about to get messy. <laughs> Go. Oh, where? Yeah. That's my room. Oh my god. <laughs> Got them? Congratulations, you have won another pass to high school. <laughs> if the next three contestants manage to earn stars, then you'll definitely get your passes to go to high school. Last but not least, the very third trial of this week. Tommy, Craig, and Calvin. Good luck, you're gonna need it. This is a vile drink called Swamp Algae. Whoever can finish it the first gets the last passes to high school. Good luck. Ready, steady, jump! <laughs> Well done, Craig, you've won your pass to high school. Yay. Well done, campers. You've officially made it to high school. Yay. Yay. See you on August 18th. Congrats. I can't believe the nonsense they put on the TV these days. I don't want to watch this disgusting stuff. Oh, it's just a bit of fun, you. 
I should have had that last glass of bubbly. I didn't I didn't expect it to be so horrid. Should we have another tip coming there? Oh, me as well. That's it for tonight's episode of Bubble Box. Tune in next week to see what our families think of this week's episode of Astenders. helped us make friends. Doing on Snow Trek were so much fun. Even though we had arguments, we come back together. All the support staff were so kind. Even though we have to leave, we don't want to because we will miss it. All the memories will stay in our hearts. Going to high still makes us worry, but we have to try, try, try. <laughs> Thank you.
Digo, quiero pasar este más. You know, all of the cards that I made this by last week, and we'll forget that because it will soon. No, no, that we're both waiting for the P7 hour. Good afternoon, Primer 7, and now we've come to the exciting part, and we're going to be giving our prizes out today. So, our overall prize for literacy this year goes to Evie McBurney. <laughs> Runner up for literacy, there are four people. Olivia Riley, Isla Ogilvy, Daniel McGee, and Zara Deegan. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> the Mad Surprise this year overall winner is Paul Sterling. Congratulations, Paul. <laughs> For Maths are Millie McClelland, Amira Heffernan, Ben Roxburgh and Sky Potter. <laughs> the boys champion sports person this year is Craig Lyle. Congratulations, Craig. <laughs> Runner up sports champions are Zach Doherty and Gary Glancy. Congratulations, boys. champion, sports champion is Ella Flynn. Congratulations Ella. <laughs> Runner up sports champions for the girls are Emily McEwen and Leah Coulter. Well done girls. <laughs> Citizenship award overall winner is Joshua McClure. Congratulations, well deserved Joshua. Awards go to Miley Finlay, Josh Williamson, and Maya Ellis. Well done. <laughs> the Expressive Arts Quake overall winner is Molly Bristol. Congratulations, Molly. <laughs> Expressive Arts runners up are Bethany Barilli, Amber Watt, Jaden Dara and Rob McNeil. Congratulations everyone. <laughs> and our Jaden Orr Memorial Shield, recommended by Miss Campbell for her work with the Nurture Group during their Enterprise project, goes to Ava Saunderson. Well deserved Ava, congratulations.
of you when you were young and I can't believe how much you've matured and grown over the years. You were my first primary one when I came to New York and you always hold a special wee place in my heart because of that. I can still remember your wee faces the first time I walked through the door. It was the first day that you'd walked through the door as well so we've got that very much in common. I bet you tonight when your parents see this there won't be a dry eye in the house. So this year, not only are the primary sevens leaving school, but there will also be other children that are coming back to New York next year and we wish them the very, very best of luck. We have many teachers and staff that won't be here either next year. Miss Wiley, Miss Friedland, Miss Swinney, Miss Ayubi, Miss Haig and Mr Ruddy are all moving on so we wish them the very, very best of luck. There are a few people that are retiring this year. That means that we don't have to get up to go to school every single day. And our lollipop lady Maureen, she is retiring. And so is me, me Doolin in the kitchen. She is retiring as well. So we wish them very, very long and happy retirement. Now, as you all know, I am also retiring. I am going to go and spend some time with my lovely we grandsons who live in Australia. I want to go there as soon as the borders are open. As soon as we can get rid of this COVID, then I will be there. And that, that's the reason I'm retiring. I really want to spend more time with my family. I have loved being in New York Primary. I have been in many schools in Inverclyde and this is where my heart li lies. You are the best children with the best parents and you are always following our school values, which are really all, in my opinion, you know what my most favourite value is. And I bet you if I say one, two, three, you'll be able to say it. One, two, three. Yep, it's kindness. Boys and girls, if you see me in and around Tesco's or in the street out for a walk, please stop and say hello. I'd love to, for you to do that. But remember, it's old people that retire, so you'll maybe need to remind me of your names because I might have forgotten by then. But all I want to do is to wish you all the very best of luck in your careers and in school. Enjoy school. It's the best time of your life. Please, please enjoy it as much as you can. And I'm hoping... I'll ask Mrs O'Hagan and Mrs McGrorty if I'm allowed back a couple of times just to come and say hello to you. I'd love to see you next year when the schools open again. Hopefully it'll all be normal again. Lastly, boys and girls, I just want to say what a privilege and a pleasure it has been to be your head teacher. I have loved every minute of being in New York and I've just got one last thing to say. Au revoir tout le monde.